What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today we're going over the legendary mystery of Prince. And you really gotta say it that way because Prince's mystery is a legend in itself beyond the legend that is the musician. This is only part two and I promise by the time this one is over you will think about mystery and how to create it for yourself if you want to in a completely different way. Prince's number one device for creating mystery is his behavioral interactions. And you can go back to the first video on mystery to get a little bit of idea what that means, but Prince is the best example of it. He creates mystery not just when he's away or through aesthetic or anything like that, but when he's around you, he's creating mystery in those moments, which is very, very rare to be able to do in the way he does. One thing he really uses for this is actually number two, character. Prince isn't just an artist. Prince is this superhero. Prince is this mystical, being. Prince had this entire world that he would paint from his clothes, designs, the way he would move. He even had that iconic stare that he was known for. So throughout this you'll see how his behavioral interactions and the character that he used to deliver those interactions created Prince's mystery. Number three, unique pairings. If you have not watched a unique pairing video yet, please watch it because it explains in depth so much what I mean. But once again, it is the contradictory traits that you don't expect to be in one individual. What are some of Prince's contradictory traits? He was known for being pretty nasty in his music and then he was a super religious dude, very contradictory. And then of course, his greatest, greatest unique pairing was the fact that he had this extreme feminine energy that he would put off but he was inherently masculine. On the low, he was one of the biggest ladies man of his time. And I'm talking about some beautiful girl. Of course, he had that high voice that he would do. Yeah. But at the same time, he would get in an interview and he would talk like this with a silky, smooth type voice. Which made things extremely interesting because he was a charming character, but he was mysterious. You don't get that from most mysterious characters. That's what made the interviews that he did so powerful, right? If you see somebody who doesn't do many interviews and then they do interviews like The Weeknd or many other ones, they aren't necessarily charming, right? They it just, it's just a regular interview. Prince, someone who has that energy that can command crowds actually doesn't spend time trying to command crowds, which strengthens his mystery even more. And number four, when it comes to Prince, this is the hugest part of his mystery. It's when all that stuff he has going for him comes together. What he does is he creates stories or what I like to call mini mysteries. He has an overarching mysterious image, but he creates smaller moments of mystery for people. You'll see what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, I'll let other people tell you. I'm looking for this guy. I get the ball and I go, and he's gone. <laughs> gone. Go, Prince? Prince? He's committed to being a superhero. Yes. So I go, yeah, I understand. Prince turns around, floats away. Now, Prince was at least six to eight inches off the ground, levitating as he floated away. So, man, shut the fuck I up. I don't care man. if you believe me yeah, or not. I'm telling you the story. biggest asshole so listen, in the world. So listen. Shut up, man. Shut the Yo, fuck up. Watch this. Watch this. I take my phone, even though Prince says don't take a picture. As he's floating, I'm like, I take the picture. Yeah. Right? I show everybody. I'm like, look at this shit. Everybody like, Yo, it really look like he's floating. I'm like, he is fucking floating. Bro, you see everything, right? bro. Yeah. After a minute, I showed Envy, I showed Angela, I saw my producer Q. We all come to the consensus, this motherfucker's yeah. really floating. After a minute, the picture that was in my phone, that what the picture was, it turned black. Shalom, why would you even just make that story up? I didn't make it up. The picture in my phone turned black. Shalom. So of course, both of those stories are incredibly interesting, but even more interesting, this story that Charlemagne the Gods told, I actually heard somebody else tell a, a very similar story. They were in an audience and people were taking pictures and then everybody's phones went black when they were taking pictures. So I don't know if he has some kind of interruption device. I wouldn't be surprised because people don't realize that Prince and kind of Michael Jackson were very invested in technology. And then it also wouldn't be surprising if Prince had some of those sketchers with the rolling shoes so he could just look like he was floating. Where Prince leverages right here is something stronger than any other type of thing you can do with mystery. The sheer power of something called testimonials. Nothing is as powerful as someone else 
saying that you're mysterious. You heard how Jimmy and Charlemagne were both excited to tell those stories and even kind of in awe as they told those stories. I mean, that just goes from anything you're doing. You're more likely to try something or believe something that your friend tells you than what you hear from some random place or what somebody tells you about themselves. I'm gonna do Saya and The Weeknd for sure next and probably some other things around it. Other than that, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click my face.